Now, exactly 30 days to go before Koreans head to the polls for the local elections. And today is also the deadline for the National Assembly to process the resignations for lawmakers running for local office. But with Parliament at a deadlock still, it remains to be seen whether rival political parties will be able to reach an agreement to hold a plenary session to accept their resignations today. For more, we connect to our political correspondent Kim Min Ji, who is live for us at the Parliament. Min Ji, we are learning that slur leaders of the rival political parties will be meeting up with Assembly Speaker soon this morning to attempt to reach a compromise. That's right, Simon. In about 15 minutes from now, the floor leaders of the country's four negotiating parties will be sitting down with the National Assembly Speaker. We've had these meetings every week, but for April and May, there have been more arguments than achievements. But with today being the last day to accept the resignation of the four lawmakers running for local elections, and in order to hold by-elections in the vacant districts alongside the local elections in June, rival parties will have to agree to hold a plenary session today. If not, the by-elections will be pushed back to April 2019. Now, the ruling Democratic Party of Korea and the Liberal Party for Democracy and Peace and Justice Party have said they would attend, but the Conservative Liberty Korea Party and the centrist Padamita Party remain extremely reluctant. In order to go ahead, support from a majority of lawmakers present is needed, which adds up to 147 seats. Now, the three parties together, along with independent lawmakers, make 149. It's the first meeting since the new floor leader of the ruling party took the helm, so we will have to see if they can find middle ground in regards to the independent council probe and to the online rigging scandal that's deepened their divide and that it brings about a breakthrough. Right, we'll be watching that throughout the day and hopefully see some positive developments after this protracted standstill at the parliament. Uh, Minji, we are also uh, learning that there has been a meeting earlier this morning for measures between, that is, rival between the ruling party and the government for measures aimed at creating more jobs in the private sector. That's right. The government is seeking to expand the number of jobs in the private sector through boosting job quality in the transport and infrastructure sectors and through improved support for startups. The officials present noted that job market conditions remain dire and that related ministries need to come up with effective measures to tackle the problem. The ruling party says job creation is the best welfare policy and the core of achieving growth. Now, the party noted that the government has achieved substantial job growth in the public sector. However, that hasn't been the case in the private sector. Um, it emphasized the need to foster human resources in sectors with high potential, such as smart cities, drones, and autonomous driving. The meeting also touched upon the government's extra budget bill that's still sitting at the National Assembly, saying it was drawn up to breathe life into regions facing an employment crisis and corporate restructuring and for the creation of jobs for Korea's young people. And they called on the Assembly for their cooperation in order to get it passed swiftly. Back to you, Simon.